In the interconnected world of telecommunications, SS7 or signaling system number 7 acts as a hidden backbone. It's a set of protocols enabling different phone networks to communicate and exchange information. Without SS7, the seamless connectivity we enjoy today would be impossible. Think of it as the invisible hand facilitating calls, texts, and other mobile services. Every time you make a call or send a text, SS7 is at work behind the scenes. However, this critical system harbors a long-known vulnerability that hackers continue to exploit. Despite advancements in technology, these vulnerabilities persist. Developed in the 1970s, SS7, also known as C7, predates the internet and cybersecurity concerns. It was designed for a different era, one where digital threats were not a consideration. Its design assumed trust between network operators. This trust was the foundation upon which the entire system was built. Unfortunately, this trust has become its Achilles heel. In today's world, where cyber threats are rampant, this assumption of trust is no longer valid. Hackers have discovered ways to access this signaling system, allowing them to intercept calls, read text messages, and track users' locations. This has serious implications for privacy and security. The SS7 vulnerability is not a single flaw but a series of weaknesses within the protocol. Each weakness can be exploited in different ways, making it a complex issue to address. These weaknesses stem from the outdated trust-based architecture and lack of robust security measures. Modernizing SS7 is a significant challenge due to its widespread use and foundational role in telecommunications. As a result, malicious actors can gain access to SS7 networks through various means, including bribing telecom employees, exploiting vulnerabilities in network infrastructure, or setting up rogue networks. The need for enhanced security measures has never been more critical. Once hackers gain access to the SS7 network, they can perform various malicious activities. One common method is intercepting SMS messages, particularly those used for two-factor authentication. By intercepting these codes, hackers can bypass security measures and gain access to users' online accounts including banking and social media profiles. Another technique is the man-in-the-middle attack. Hackers can position themselves between two legitimate parties communicating through the SS7 network. This allows them to eavesdrop on conversations, manipulate data, and even reroute calls. The implications of SS7 attacks extend beyond financial gain. Governments and intelligence agencies can exploit these vulnerabilities for surveillance purposes. By intercepting communications, they can gather intelligence on individuals, track their movements, and monitor their activities. Two-factor authentication or 2FA is often touted as a robust security measure to protect online accounts. It adds an extra layer of security by requiring not just a password, but also a second form of verification, usually a code sent to your phone. However, SS7 attacks undermine the effectiveness of 2FA that relies on SMS-based codes. SS7, or signaling system NUN7, is a protocol used by telecom networks to exchange information needed for making calls and sending text messages. Hackers can intercept these codes in transit rendering 2FA useless. They exploit vulnerabilities in the SS7 network to gain access to the codes sent to your phone. The problem lies in the reliance on the SS7 network for delivering SMS messages. This network, while essential for global communication, has several known security flaws. Since the network itself is vulnerable, the security of the information transmitted through it is compromised. This means that even the most secure 2FA system can be bypassed if it relies on SMS. This highlights a critical flaw in relying solely on SMS-based 2FA. Users may feel a false sense of security, not realizing that their accounts are still at risk. Several high-profile incidents have demonstrated the vulnerability of SMS-based 2FA to SS7 attacks. These incidents have raised awareness about the need for more secure authentication methods. In one case, hackers targeted cryptocurrency accounts by intercepting 2FA codes sent via SMS. They were able to gain access to the accounts and steal significant amounts of cryptocurrency. The hackers drained victims' accounts, highlighting the financial risks associated with SS7 exploitation. This serves as a stark reminder of the importance of using more secure methods for two-factor authentication. Section 4. The Persistence of Vulnerability – Why SS7 Remains Unpatched Despite being known for years, the SS7 vulnerability remains largely unpatched. This vulnerability, which affects the signaling system, number 7, SS7 protocol, has been a significant concern for cybersecurity experts and telecom operators alike. This is due to several factors, including the complexity of the global telecommunications infrastructure, which spans across numerous countries and involves countless telecom operators. The slow pace of technology adoption in the telecom industry further exacerbates the issue. Many operators still rely on outdated technology, creating a fragmented technology landscape that is difficult to manage and upgrade. 
Upgrading the SS7 network to a more secure system is a monumental task, it involves not just technical changes but also logistical and operational challenges, it requires coordination and cooperation among numerous telecom operators worldwide, each with its own set of priorities and challenges. Each operator has its own infrastructure, legacy systems and financial constraints, making a unified approach difficult to achieve. Moreover, there is no easy fix for the SS7 vulnerability. The inherent design of the SS7 protocol lacks robust security features, making it susceptible to various types of attacks. While some security measures can mitigate certain risks, they are often seen as temporary solutions rather than permanent fixes. A complete overhaul of the system is necessary for a long-term solution. This would involve significant investment in time. This involves transitioning to more modern and secure signaling protocols, which are designed to address the security flaws inherent in SS7, such as diameter, which incorporate stronger security features and are better suited to handle the demands of modern telecommunications. Section 5. Real-World Repercussions, High-Profile SS7 Exploitations The SS7 vulnerability has been exploited in various high-profile attacks, demonstrating its real-world consequences. In 2016, hackers stole money from bank accounts in Germany by exploiting SS7 vulnerabilities. They bypassed two-factor authentication by intercepting SMS messages containing transaction confirmation codes. In another incident, researchers demonstrated how SS7 attacks could be used to track the location of individuals. By accessing the network, they could pinpoint a user's whereabouts with alarming accuracy, raising serious privacy concerns. These examples highlight the potential for SS7 attacks to cause significant financial damage, compromise sensitive information, and erode trust in telecommunications networks. Section 6. Protecting Your Digital Assets – Strategies for Mitigating SS7 Threats While a complete solution to the SS7 vulnerability requires a systemic overhaul, individuals can take steps to mitigate the risks associated with these attacks. One crucial step is to avoid relying solely on SMS-based two-factor authentication. Consider using alternative two-factor authentication methods, such as authentication apps or hardware tokens. These methods do not rely on the vulnerable SS7 network and provide a higher level of security. Additionally, stay informed about SS7 vulnerabilities and potential threats. Be cautious about unsolicited messages, especially those requesting personal information or containing suspicious links. us bring you more valuable content.